Victorious warriors win first and then go to war, while defeated warriors go to war first and then seek to win. Know thyself, know thy enemy, a thousand battles, a thousand victories. Invincibility lies in the defense, the possibility of victory in the attack. If you know the enemy and know yourself, you need not fear the results of a hundred battles. All men can see these tactics whereby I conquer, but what none can see is the strategy out of which victory is evolved. The opportunity to secure ourselves against defeat lies in our own hands, but the opportunity of defeating the enemy is provided by the enemy himself. The art of war is of vital importance to the state. It is a matter of life and death, a road either to safety or to ruin. Hence, it is a subject of inquiry which can on no account be neglected. Confront them with annihilation, and they will then survive. Plunge them into a deadly situation, and they will then live. When people fall into danger, they are then able to strive for victory. A good commander is benevolent and unconcerned with fame. He who knows when he can fight and when he cannot will be victorious. The general who wins the battle makes many calculations in his temple before the battle is fought. The general who loses makes but few calculations beforehand. Prohibit the taking of omens and do away with superstitious doubts. Then, until death itself comes, no calamity need be feared. The quality of decision is like the well-timed swoop of a falcon which enables it to strike and destroy its victim. Supreme excellence consists in breaking the enemy's resistance without fighting. For to win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy without fighting is the acme of skill. The general who advances without coveting fame and retreats without fearing disgrace, whose only thought is to protect his country and do good service for his sovereign, is the jewel of the kingdom. In the practical art of war, the best thing of all is to take the enemy's country whole and intact. To shatter and destroy it is not so good. If we know that our own men are in a condition to attack, but are unaware that the enemy is not open to attack, we have gone only halfway towards victory. The good fighters of old first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat and then waited for an opportunity of defeating the enemy.